Could this be your loved one in the spirit world? Come and join me as I sketch and communicate with those that have crossed over to the higher side of life. If you like my content, why not like this video and subscribe to my channel. As I open up to the spiritual realms, a lovely young girl steps forward to me. As she draws closer, I can see that she would have been around nine years old, with long brown hair, very petite for her age, and with the most stunning brown sparkling eyes. At this stage, I make the decision to draw her quickly, capturing her essence and then to add some colour to my sketch. It has been many years since I've used colour, and I do hope that it brings life and justice to her sweet angelic features. Now that she's spent a few moments with me, she's starting to make me aware that during the last few weeks of her life, she had developed flu-like symptoms. Her mother and father cared and loved her deeply and treated her symptoms to the best of their ability. This beautiful girl had made them aware that her head and body was hurting when she moved. They made the decision to give her treatment for flu and for her to have complete bed rest. As the days progressed, she had not improved and the parents had made the decision that they would give her another couple of days, and should she not get any better, then they will call for the doctor. The following morning, when the parents went to do their checks, her body laid still and unresponsive. Sadly, she had passed away. Through the examination of her, it had become apparent that she had contracted bacterial meningitis. As you can imagine, losing your child is the greatest grief for them all, and it brought her parents' world crashing down. Over the years, they had continually blamed themselves for not realising that there was a bigger problem than just flu. It had been torture for them. This little princess loves her parents so much and knew her parents loved her back unconditionally and they did everything a parent would do in those circumstances. She does not want them to blame themselves anymore and to heal and to become at peace. She wants them to remember only the good times that they had shared. As this young lady connects with me further, she's making me aware that she'd been over in the world of spirit for around 20 years and would almost be 30 now. She makes me aware that around the 17th of January is a key period, perhaps a birthday or anniversary, that would have great meaning to the family. She's showing me references to America, 
and I do get the impression that is where she resided through her short life. She loved her home, but more so her family. She makes me aware that she's the oldest of three children, and she adored her younger brother and sister. She loved to mother them and would often play school scenarios with them where she would be the teacher. She was methodical in her thinking and one day could have made a very good teacher of some kind as a career choice. This beautiful, sweet child used to spend many hours enjoying arts and crafts. She would love her colouring books and always had been proud not to go over the lines. She loved to watch TV and some of her favourite shows had been Recess, Lizzie McGuire and The Simpsons. At school she was a popular child and made good friends. A teacher spoke fondly of her, of how pleasant she was, and impressed of how she'd take the lead in group activities. They would often say, what a joy she is to teach. During the last couple of years of her life, she would spend time learning to horse ride. She adored the horses and had such a natural gift to become one with them. She loved to groom them and spend so much time giving them the care and love. Very typical of her sweet nature. And one day she hoped to have learned dressage. She's also making me aware that another passion of hers was learning the piano. She had a lot of patience practicing, learning as much as she could and showing great potential for her age. Before she got sick, I know that she was learning for Elise. As this session draws to the end, there were some names that was given that I felt were significant to this sweet child. The name of Teresa, Rebecca and Rachel seemed very important. There were some other names, but I couldn't quite make them out. She made it clear that she wanted her family to know at the very end that she never suffered and gently went to sleep. And there was some form of grandparent that came to collect her. She is at peace now and is loved over in the spirit world. And she's frequently in visitation watching over her family over the years and she loves them so dearly. I do hope that this finds its way to her family. Till the next time, have a great day.